Hey everyone, there are so many ways to enjoy archery. So in today's video, I wanted to go through some of the different styles of archery to help anyone that's new to archery or looking to get started, explore the different avenues. And since 2020 was supposed to be the Olympic year, I wanted to start with Olympic archery. The Olympic recurve bow is currently the only bow that's used in the Olympics. Uh, there could be more in the future, but right now, it's just the Olympic recurve. And what we have is a three piece recurve bow and it's in three pieces to make it easier to travel with. And then you can interchange the, the limbs, which are the, which is the part of the bow that bends. It's, you know, at the top and bottom, as well as it makes it a little bit easier for adjustment as well. And then you have the riser section, which is where all the, the accessories are mounted to it's where the archer holds on to the bow and those are typically made of either aluminum or carbon fiber. Olympic recurve bows are typically 66 inches to 72 inches long and that variation in length is just to fit each individual archer. You'll find as you get into archery, archery is a very individual sport and all the equipment is kind of tailored to you. So what works for one person might not work for another. And that's why we have, you know, archery shops that can help us get set up with the equipment that's gonna fit us and our needs. So depending on, on you, you'll either shoot 60, between 66 and 72. And typically the bows are in two inch increments. And as far as draw weight, which is, you know, how hard the bow is to pull back, again, it's gonna vary depending on the individual, but most Olympic recurve shooters, again, they're shooting 70 meters, and these are archers that are shooting a lot of arrows. They're gonna be shooting in the low 40 pound range. Uh, some of them, you know, who are maybe more the exception are gonna be shooting in the high 40 pound range, low 50 pound range. But most people are gonna be, you know, in that in the low, low 40s. And you'll notice that there are a lot of accessories attached to an Olympic recurve bow. And one of the most common ones that people have questions about are these long rods attached to the bow. Those are called stabilizers. And all they do is they balance the bow and help the bow aim better. Like the, the length of the bow and the draw weight and really everything in archery, stabilizers are gonna be customized depending on that specific archer's needs. Uh, one of the most common stabilizer setups you'll see is a long stabilizer in the front and then two stabilizers pointing backwards and those two stabilizers pointing backwards are called v-bars and that's you know that's a very typical setup you'll see on an olympic recurve olympic recurve also has sights which are adjustable again just they give you uh, an aiming reference and they also have something called a clicker which is like a little tab on the riser of the bow the arrow gets pulled past it and when that arrow slides past that tab, it clicks, and that tells the archer when to shoot. And it gives them a very consistent draw length, which is how far they're pulling back every time. And that just it adds a level of consistency, as well as gives them a signal on when to release. If you're new to archery, you'll probably start with maybe an indoor competition, 18, which is 18 meters, 20 yards, uh, which is much closer. That's the, you know, the range of most of your indoor ranges at like an archery shop or something like that. So much more approachable. And then you can also shoot 3D archery, the foam animal targets, like the one behind me, as well as field archery with, with an Olympic recurve. So there's a lot that you can do with them. Uh, you, and of course you could just shoot them just for fun. You don't have to compete. It's a really cool discipline and something that you should definitely look into. And then moving along, kind of like the counterpart to Olympic recurve is compound archery. It's something that if you watch you know, World Archery World Cup, you watch you know the professional 3D archers. Again, 3D archery is shooting at foam, tar foam animal targets like the one just behind me. Uh, you'll see, you know, compound archers competing with setups that look kind of similar to an Olympic recurve. They have sights, they have stabilizers, uh, but obviously the big difference between Olympic re Olympic recurve and compound is that base bow, the compound versus the recurve compound bows have cams uh, which have let off and it's it's just a different uh, bow design and compound bows are inherently more accurate because they have features like a mechanical release they have peep sights 
which is a rear sight that you look through uh, and that just gives you a very consistent way to aim your bow. So compound bows are really cool, super accurate. They're shot at 50 meters for target archery and about 50 yards for most 3D competitions in that, you know, that open class. And of course there are other, you know, variations for like that compound division. You have your bow hunter class, which, you know, is much more of a stripped down, still has sight, still has mechanical release aid, still has a peep sight, but short stabilizer, you know, definitely a more approachable way to get started in compound archery. And then you have the division that I've been shooting a lot lately, and that is bare bow archery. And that is, if you take an Olympic recurve and you take off all the accessories, you have a bare bow. So it is a three-piece bow, typically a recurve bow with a metal riser and two sets of limbs attached to that riser. And, but there's no sights, no stabilizer. You can have some weights attached to the bow, uh, but they have to fit through a ring, so they can't be too big. Uh, they still use an elevated rest and a cushion plunger, which are, are helpful for accuracy, but again, no sight. So most archers are gonna be aiming with the tip of their arrow, and there's different ways to do that. We have a couple videos on things like string walking and the specific bare bow rules. And bare bow archery is used in field archery, 3D archery, you know, target archery, uh, indoor archery. There's a lot you can do with it, and of course, just having fun in your backyard similar to barebow archery but it's, it has its own category is traditional archery and that's going to include recurve bows and long bows and long the, there's a separate longwood division which we'll talk about in a minute but this whole category of bows is really you know what you would think of of a bow it's just really simple no elevated rest no cushion plunger just a just a bow and that's it typically made of wood but they can be have metal risers they can be one piece, two piece, or three piece bows. A lot of variation, and you can go deep into it and order a custom bow with really gorgeous woods, or you can just get a, a really simple bow for like less than two hundred dollars. Like a like a Sam Sage would be by far the most common beginner bow in traditional archery, and you, then you can get going for you know very little money invested, learn proper archery form and compete, you can absolutely compete with a traditional bow, especially in 3D archery, uh, competing with traditional bows is very popular. So definitely something to look into. All right, so as I mentioned, the longbow, the longbow division is really cool. This is gonna be a one or two piece longbow. So if you, the difference between a longbow and a recurve is recurve has those curled tips at the end and the string actually touches the limb on the top, longbows, are gonna have more of a straight limb and the string isn't gonna to touch the limb at the top. That's the easiest way to identify them. And once you get used to it, you'll just be able to look at a bow. I mean, that's a longbow, that's a recurve. But the longbow division is, is really interesting because you have to shoot wooden arrows. And that is just a really cool throwback to, you know, actually not too long ago when most arrows were made from wood uh, and it, it creates a whole new challenge because tuning wood arrows is an art form and shooting them uh, out of a longbow is a true challenge and you can compete with a longbow wood arrows you know at the highest stages in 3d archery field archery uh, and in uh, indoor archery so super cool discipline and if you're if you're really into the the history and the tradition of archery the longbow division might be for you. So now that you know some of the different styles of archery that are out there, what you can do is you can sign up for an introductory archery lesson at a nearby archery shop, call ahead and make sure that they have you know, uh, rental gear for you, that we don't have to buy a bow before you at least try the sport. And they might have both a compound and a recurve bow for you to try, so that'll help you kind of try both and see which one you enjoy more. And from there, you can kind of choose the, the style of archery that's best gonna suit, you know, whatever uh, goals you have, whatever you wanna do within the world of archery, whether you wanna compete or just have fun, whether you wanna do 3D archery, if you wanna go bow hunting, 
There's so much that you can do within this, you know, world of archery. It's super cool, it's a lot of fun. And of course you can do more than one eventually. So, and explore all the disciplines, you know, take a deeper dive into them, take a lesson and have fun out there. We will see you all in the next video.